I might be a little late to the party, but since Season 3 launched, I've been playing a bit more MP in Modern Warfare 2, even amidst our sort of branching out to other FPS content here on the channel. And with that, though, I never really got around to talking about my preferred weaponry for Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer, so today I want to quickly run down the top 10 best weapons for Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer as of Season 3. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below on any weapons you're enjoying, anything in particular you're hoping to see crack the top 10 in Season 3 Reloaded, and of course, do recognize this is subjective. If you like another weapon that you think ranks in that top 10, and feel free to drop your thoughts in the build below to help anybody out that may be interested. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay up with all things Modern Warfare 2 and other FPS content. And finally, check out my friends over at G Fuel for upwards of 30% off your entire order with code Espresso, but more on that a little later. For now, let's take a look at my picks for the top 10 weapons in Modern Warfare 2 Season 3 thus far. So first, some of these are new, some are familiar, but as always, tuning on the left side of the overlay so that we can avoid the monotony of rattling off specific numbers for every single attachment but let's breeze through these builds. Firstly, the TAC-56 is still my personal favorite and all around, I think most versatile weapon within Modern Warfare 2. You can kit it for fast action. It gets the job done if you want to be a rusher with it. It packs that punch of a rifle, but can sometimes have the mobility close to, not exactly matching that of an SMG, but you get the point. It is something you can run around and absolutely fry with. For this, I'd recommend the FSS OV Laser, Edge 47 grip, 40 round magazine, demo clean shot grip, and the TV X-Line Pro stock. This, I think if you're a more more aggressive player is just like that all around most balanced weapon you're going to end up getting in terms of taking those mobility properties while also being able to pack a punch in the rifle department. Beyond that, the ISO Hemlock is another weapon that for a bit more precision in play, I'll end up taking this. Something that a bit more like medium to long range for MP is something where I think this really flourishes versus something like the TAC-56, though you can still use it as an all around rifle that is absolutely great. If you kit it out for mobility a bit more, you're going to have a bit more snappy nature of it, but the build that I use in particular is for a bit more distance, playing from medium to longer range, which unfortunately does mean you're going to have a little bit like slower ADS speeds. So just be conscious of that. You can, of course, change it if you would like. But for this build, I end up running the Fielder T50 Barrel, Harbinger D20 Muzzle, 45 round magazine, X10 grip, and the Cronin Mini Pro Optic. Definitely a nice solid choice, I think, for rifle play. Beyond that, though, we have a new gun on the block, a new introduction here that, admittedly, I really wasn't sure how to feel about this earlier on, but the Cronin Squall, once you unlock the attachments for it, you rank it up. This thing is actually a lot of fun to use and can pack a punch. If I'm not mistaken, the single fire semi auto has a different damage property than full auto, to which, if you want to play it more as a sort of marksman rifle where you can end up going semi auto with it, you can change out the 50 round mag or something like that if you'd like to adjust it accordingly. But for me, I found a lot of fun playing with this thing at full auto, to which for this build, I ended up running the HR 6.8 barrel, the Edge 47 grip, the 50 round drum mag, the X10 grip, and the Cronin Mini Pro Optic. Again, just like the ISO Hemlock, it's a bit slower to ADS, but it is something that's easy to control. It is something that can pack a punch and is a new weapon to my sort of top 10 here. So it's a lot of fun to play around with if you want to break up the monotony of using just only the weapons you've been used to since launch. Next, while we talked about some longer range plan, we will come back to that here in just a second, let's break up the monotony of it a little bit and talk about the Vel 46, the SMG of choice here, if you ask me, my go-to when it comes to close quarters play. But for this, I'd end up recommending the VLK Laser 7 milliwatt, the Lockshot KT-85 muzzle, the X10 drop grip under barrel, the Schlager Soldier rear grip, and the Demo RXT stock, something that affords you a lot of sprint to fire speed, mobility, and if you want to, you can sacrifice one of those attachments to make it a little bit better, even with a 30-round magazine. But honestly, I kind of like the default 40 that you end up having just as is. I don't think you need to sacrifice 10 rounds for that extra added little bit in mobility, but it is there if you'd like to do so. Next, the M4 is a weapon that I would still say is in the top 10 and is a weapon that is still very much so a pickup and use weapon. It is a bit slower in terms of like snappy nature compared to like the TAC-56 we've talked about, but it's a more than capable weapon as we've talked about plenty of times before. For this, I'd recommend the high tower 20 inch barrel, 45 round magazine, the X10 rear grip, the Tempest P80 strike stock, and the Cronin Mini Pro Optic to give you the best possible build here for this one. Next, beyond that, we're going back to some close quarters play. We're going to talk about the Vaznev 9K. This, I kind of have a hybrid between like a Warzone build and also a ranked build for this that I used. That being the Bruin Pendulum Muzzle, the FSS Sharkfin 90 Underbarrel, the 45 round magazine, the True Tack Grip, and the Markiev R7 stock. 
Personally, I take that Markeev over the Ostrot just because you end up getting a bit more crouch movement speed as well as aim down sight speed, whereas the Ostrot and what you'd see on a lot of competitive builds is more so just aim walking like strafing and sprint speed. So that's a build that has been unreliable for me for quite some time. That's why we're getting towards the later portions here of it. Don't want to repeat it too much, but that said, the Vaznev is absolutely up there still. Next, I'd recommend the Chimera. This being a more so, again, hybrid between SMG and rifle, as we've talked about before, where it's something that in close quarters, it will shred because of the fire rate, but at a distance, it still can get the job done. You just might see a bit more bounce in that aim a little bit because of that rate of fire. For this, though, I'd recommend the 10-inch SA Phoenix barrel, the Lockshot KT85 muzzle, the Edge 47 grip, the 45 round magazine and the Cronin Mini Pro Optic to round that out. Next, we are going to finish out our final three weapons here in this top 10 with the Castoff family. This being a weapon platform that has plenty of weapons that you can use, but still three of them are, I'd say, in top 10, absolutely. First, the Castoff 74U. This being, again, another one that I'd say is a rifle, but also you can use as a close quarters, almost SMG play in both Warzone and an MP. It will pack a punch. It's still one of my favorites here. That build consisting of the FSS OV laser, the short tack 330, or BR-209 nine barrel depends on what you want out of the build honestly i mean if you want more snappy nature and better movement speed the br209 is the way to go but at the same time the recoil control and bullet velocity for a bit more medium range to long range the short tack is the better one though honestly you could get away with the sa ultra 3 as well if you really want to just go all out on ads speed and movement speed then you're going to see much more trade-offs with that barrel beyond that i'd recommend the 45 round magazine true tack grip and the markiv r7 stock after the 74u the cast off 545 is still up there. The 7.62 was a weapon that was a little bit better than the 5.45 at launch, but it was adjusted around, I want to say, Season 1 or Season 1 Reloaded, where it actually pulled ahead in regards to damage properties, and it's a bit easier to control if you ask me. For this, I'd recommend the Commando 4 Grip or the Edge 47 Grip, the 45 Round Magazine, the True Tag Grip, the Pro-Lite TL3 Stock, and the Cronin Mini Pro Optic. And finally, the RPK is the last build here we'll talk about. This, we're not kidding it out for our LMG build. We're more so going to be hitting it out for mobility and that use in MP to be able to get your gun up faster. If you kit it for how we do in Warzone in a like long range build, you're going to be sitting there for a whole second almost ADSing. For this, I'd recommend the Cast 10 584 millimeter barrel, that adding ADS speed and movement speed, the Edge 47 grip, the 40 round magazine, the True Tack grip, and the Cronin Mini Pro Optic. This really trying to maximize that ADS speed where possible, but that said, that is my pick for the top 10 weapons here within Season 3 as of my Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer right now. So let me know your thoughts down below. If you have any weapon you would add to this list, maybe subtract, whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. But before we wrap everything up, make sure you check out my friends over at G Fuel. Code Espresso getting you 30% off in the month of April, like Starfruit and Hype Sauce. Two of my personal favorites had Hype Sauce this morning here. It's part of my main normal three that I have on rotation. And if you guys want to check anything else out that may not be on that list, Code Espresso gets you 20% off at all times. So if you guys are interested in a restock or trying something out for the very first time, now is as best the time as any. But that said, Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts once again down below. If you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay updated with all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and other FPS content here as of recently. So I'd love to have you in the community, but for now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.